Now we will study quasi contract. Now before we start, I would like to tell you that this word Q U A S I is pronounced both ways, quasi as well as quasi. Now it depends on you how you want to pronounce it. But what do you mean by the word quasi or quasi? Have you heard this word before? I doubt. So let me tell you what this word means. Quasi means just like or similar to. So if this is the meaning of the word quasi or quasi, that means something is just like a contract or something is similar to a contract. We are talking about a contract here, which means this is not actually a contract. This is just like a contract. This is similar to a contract. Now, let me give you an example. Let's say you are walking on the road and what happens is you, you know, unintentionally drop your wallet and somebody picks the wallet up. Now he doesn't know whose wallet this is and you walked ahead. So he, you know, opens the wallet, sees your identity card. Uh, and tries to search for you. But let's say if he doesn't try to search for you, he withdraws money from it, he picks up the money from it and throws the wallet. What do you think would be the correct step? To search for the owner or to take the money out from it and you know, just try to run away or just pretend to be normal. What would be right? You know, I know, you know, morally it would be right that you search the owner and then you give the wallet back to him. But practically, possibly, you know, just picking the money from it and throwing the wallet away. And you go. Do you think you are under an obligation? You are under a liability or a responsibility to find the owner and to return the goods to him, rather the wallet to him? Yes, the law puts this responsibility on you. The law puts this liability on you. The law puts this obligation on you. The law says, the Indian Contract Act 1872 says, that if you find such a wallet on the road belonging to some other person, you cannot just take the money out of it and spend it. It is your responsibility to find the owner and return the money with the wallet to him. Now, if this is your responsibility, do you think in this whole predicament, in this whole case, anywhere ever there was a contract created between you and the owner? or between you and someone else. Do you think there was a contract created? Because for creating a contract, you need an offer and that offer needs to be accepted. Here, did you give an offer to anybody or did anybody give you an offer? And did you accept it? So your answer would be no. Nobody gave you an offer. You did not accept, nor did you give somebody your offer. And he didn't accept it. So, there is no contract. But the law says there is a contract. 
you have a responsibility you have a liability you have an obligation and this obligation is covered under the four walls of a contract the law says this obligation is your liability in the contract because under any contract you will have one right and one liability one right and one responsibility here you do not have rights you only have an obligation and this obligation is converted into a contract by law and this contract is between you and the owner though you never intended to enter into the contract though the owner doesn't even know you leave alone contracting with you yet the law says you are bound under the contract of returning the wallet to the owner this is what we call as the quasi contract because this is not actually a contract in a sense if you see this is just like a contract this is similar to a contract but not a contract at first place and this is the reason why it is called as a quasi or a quasi contract so now let's see what a quasi contract is in detail what are its features and what are its types as i said let's understand in detail what is quasi contract what are the types and then we'll finally do a small topic on the finder of goods